Hey Tracy's Place fam, welcome back. I am here with a video about this um, virus that's going around actually, just somewhat of a, I won't even say that it's a remedy, I will just say that it is something that worked for me. Um, I saw this first going around on Messenger and a uh, friend sent it to me and it was from Ressa Yana or Rasa Yana, I think it was R-E-S-A or either R-A-S-A. Yana, Y A N A, and um, he and he himself said that this was not a cure or anything like that for what's going on right now, but it's something that I won't even say all the that he said because I'm not trying to get in trouble, I'm not trying to get him in trouble because he wasn't trying to get in trouble himself. But this is just something that he felt that works, and I just have to say earlier today. Uh, I was not feeling good. All of a sudden, I got tightness in the throat and tight feeling up here in the chest. And I was like, oh my goodness. You know how thoughts just run through your mind, especially lately with everything that's going on. Thoughts just flood through the, the slightest bit of a cough or runny nose or whatever. And you're like, oh my goodness. And you, do, you don't ever want to panic. Definitely not saying that, but you know, you always want to be trusting in God and just doing your best to stay well and all that that you can do, right? So anyway, uh, I was had this feeling, you know, when I was upstairs, I was sitting down watching TV and just felt kind of, and, and a, not hard to breathe, but just a little bit of restriction. And then the tightness here and then here, I'm like, oh no, oh no. Of course, I started praying right away and everything and I ran downstairs. I remembered the video that I saw of this man, you know, doing this um, concoction or whatever to help people feel better with these symptoms. So I had also saw um, Sonetta Crispin. She had made a video um, and she included this in her video. She said, and she didn't have any symptoms or nothing like that, but she um, she said it cleared up her sinuses, I believe it was. She had sinus issues, and she said it basically like took care of the mucus and stuff that she had had problems with for the longest of time, and it helped with her mucus, you know, while dealing with her sinus issues. And I was like, okay. And she said, if nothing else, she said that it helped her with that, you know, because it, it says to do this just to keep the virus away you know this hot liquid and everything so anything I don't want to ramble too much but anyway she said it cleared cleared up for her in the mucus and stuff so I was like oh wow and then also my um, niece and me and my sisters we have been going around we have been talking about what we have saw on the video and I think my niece was doing this too, the uh, pot of boiling water but anyway let me tell you what it is let me show you what it is real quick Okay, so I just showed a clip of it boiling on the stove. So what it is, is a pot of water. It didn't give any measurements or anything like that, but this is the size of a pot, and I filled it halfway with water, started, started it to boil, put um, sea salt in it. Now, I put about two, te two tablespoons or so. You probably could do more. Um, like I said, I just kind of was watching him do it, and that's just, you know, I kind of eyed it. Did about two tablespoons of sea salt, and I cut up on onion peels. I put onion peels in there because I was making some dinner earlier, and I had some, you know, peels left over in a plastic bag and a part of an onion. So I put that in the pot, and your main ingredient is actually the, um, or the salt too, but the orange peel the peeling of an orange and um i think he said you could do lime too but basically citrus so he definitely said orange he said you can do lemon and then lime also so basically citrus because citrus helps with all that sinus stuff and you know citrus is a is a good ink for anything especially respiratory too anyway citrus onion peel and you can even put in a little chunks of onion in there and then sea salt. So I did that, got you know, got a good boil going on. And what you wanna do is, now I did this earlier, so that's why I don't have it on now, but you wanna put it on a t-shirt. You wanna put on a t-shirt when you're doing this because you are gonna get hot. <laughs> you're gonna be real hot. And 
you tie your hair back with a scarf, whatever you see. I have my little house on the prairie bonnet on. So you just don't, you don't want your hair hanging in the pot and you know, you might have a gas stove. You don't want your hair catching on fire and you just don't want your hair in the way. So you just tie your hair back or put something on to keep your hair out of the way. Okay, so you get a towel and you probably can see the steam because I just took it off of the stove top, but you see the steam coming up, but you want to do it over the stove while it's boiling. You don't hurt yourself, don't, because uh, he was saying the hottest you can stand it, the better, but uh, you don't want any little ones doing this by themselves, you know, no youngsters or anything like that. Uh, you should always be under the supervision of an adult. So um, this, now this demonstration is just for adults anyway. So anyway, what you want to do, and like he said, do it as, as much heat as you could stand but don't harm yourself don't burn yourself or anything like that be very careful but you all most of y'all have heard about putting your face over a steaming you know whether it's a steaming bowl of water or a pot of water or whatever so basically you are inhaling the heat in because supposedly the virus cannot stand really hot heat so that is the key is to get steam in your nostrils and to go down and help, you know, everywhere. So that you want to catch this before it gets too far. If you can, you don't want anything spreading to your lungs. So the key is even now while you're well and pray that you don't get anything, but just to do this as a preventative thing. But anyway, like I said, I was, I started feeling odd and I thought of this, you know, sometimes you're watching stuff and it's like, oh, that's crazy. That sounds crazy. That sounds crazy. Not doing that. You know, that sounds good. That sounds good. So anyway, when I, when no symptoms came, this is the first thing I thought of. So, um, cause I had thought actually earlier when I first saw it, I said, oh, that, that kind of makes sense. You know, the heat killing off a of virus and stuff. So anyway, while you're over the stove and the heat is coming off really hot and everything, you want to put a towel over your head and you want to lean over the steam and you and don't have your glasses on. I just have them on because I'm doing the video. But don't have glasses on. And um, you want to get over the pot. Get over the pot, and you want to breathe that in like for 15 to 20 minutes. I believe it was. I think he said 15 to 20 minutes. Now I don't know if you're supposed to do it continuously or not. I did not because that was just too much for me. So I just would go over like maybe a good 10 breaths or so just in and out and then I started just getting too warm and I'd step away and then I'd come back and do do it some more step away I kind of did it like that so um just do what you can stand and um yeah so I just want to bring this to you because you, you see stuff floating around all the time and as you all know I like natural things, so anything, when I find something that has worked for me, now this may not work for everybody, um, like I said, I'm not a doctor, I'm not saying this as a treatment or anything like that, I'm just passing along information um, because, you know, there's no remedy, cure, whatever going on, you know, for this right now, so this is just something that helped me with the symptoms that I had. And this is something that I picked up from someone else. I did not come up with this, but this did help me. So I just want to make that clear. I don't mean to ramble, but you have to do that when you're talking about stuff like this, especially on YouTube. So um, this helped me, like I said. So hopefully it will help someone else. You may not have any symptoms at all, but um, they said that this would be a good preventative and it just... It, Sounds good. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to a lot of other people. And some people thought it was cuckoo crazy. So you be your own judge of that. All right. But like I said, I start and I hadn't felt this feeling before at all. But I started feeling this tightness in here and, and this tightness in the, the chest and look funny, you know, breathing a little bit. And I was like, oh, my Lord, came right down here. And thankfully, I had everything and I felt better. I feel better. So, just wanted to pass it along. Anything that I find, like I said, natural, whatever, and it helped me, I will pass it along. Okay? All right. Be blessed, you all. I hope you all are being safe, knowing that God is your source. 
first of all, God is your source. Do all the things that you can do or that you know to do. But ultimately, first of all, and lastly of all, God is your source. And rely on him. Stay prayed up, you all. I know that sounds like a cliche, but keep praying. Pray for our nation. Pray for your neighbors, your family, your friends. Because, yes, we are all going through this together. All right? Blessings. Love you all. See you guys next time right back here on Tracy's Place. Bye.